Hi there, my name is Leisure B and you're watching Dubstep Fundamentals with FM8 by FM8Tutorials.com. In this tutorial series we're going to have a serious look at how to create some nasty dubstep sounds using FM synthesis. FM8 is Native Instruments software answer to the famous Yamaha DX7 synth, which is kind of the Abraham of FM synthesis. So what's this FM business you might ask? Well, FM synthesis differs from other forms of synthesis by its ability to modulate the frequency or pitch of one or more oscillators called carriers by others referred to as modulators. This creates very diverse waveforms and allows one a very intuitive way of creating sound. I myself had had a lot of experience with one of the follow-ups of the DX7, the 17-inch rack synth Yamaha TX81Z. During my studies I was forced to work with it to emulate bell and flute-like sounds, but I soon found out that it was also amazing for creating heavy growling bass lines. Even though the TX81Z can produce some spectacular sounds, due to the incredibly minimalistic interface it was extremely tiresome to work with, and I therefore stopped working with it altogether soon after my school assignments were fulfilled. However, a couple of months ago, Steve from this very fm8tutorials.com pointed me towards Native Instruments FM8, which I happen to already own, and suggested I should do a dubstep tutorial with it. After watching the masterclass, which is also available at fm8tutorials.com, I basically dropped all other software since I was working with and focused on using only FM8 for my current dubstep projects. Since dubstep basslines are extremely diverse, it's not that easy to create them with regular synthesis. It is not unusual, for example, to resort to extreme filter settings and modulation in order to get the desired rough edges and interesting movements. FM synthesis allows you much easier ways to create the desired output. By for example putting a complicated envelope on a modulator, it is possible to create a very diverse and rich sound while only using two simple waveforms. It's kind of the quantum physics of synthesizing sound, I guess. In the following five videos, I'm going to show you how to build a couple of casual dubstep sounds so you can get acquainted with the most important functions of the FM8. In part two to five, we'll be creating three bass sounds along with two bass supplements. In part 6 I'll show you how to use the created patches in an arrangement and how to use FM8's effects to smoothen out your mix. This tutorial comes along with the patches as created in part 2 to 5 as well as an arrangement, a multi-track version of the drums and the patches of the completed version of part 6 of this series. If you are not very experienced with FM8 it is strongly advised that you also watch the FM8 masterclass by FM8Tutorials.com. Right, that's enough yapping. Let's start with part two, creating a stab bass. 